Today we're at one of the rehoming centres the Dog Trust has. We're going to get to go in and see the kind of dogs you can adopt, why it's better to adopt, and I'm going to get to cuddle some puppies. <laughs> Very excited. We have dogs that are brought in for loads of different reasons, like people losing their jobs, losing their home, um, ill health, through to some quite preposterous reasons. Here's the kennels and we're going to have to take a look. If someone was to say to you what are the benefits of adopting a dog rather than going to a breeder, what would you say? So if you come to an organisation like Dogs Trust, the biggest benefit that you'll have is that we will help you to match the dog that will work well for you. We work really, really hard with people to find that right dog for them. I think people expect that a rescue dog is going to have um, issues and baggage and problems, but the majority of them are happy pet dogs that have just, for whatever reason, find themselves in a rescue situation. So you shouldn't be off-put by the idea that a rescue dog is going to be a bad dog, yeah, because exactly. that's very, very far from the the case. All of our dogs are also neutered, vaccinated, microchipped, um, so there's lots of benefits as well. But I say that it's the matchmaking process, that's a big benefit to start with. How do you match make somebody tell me? Okay. See well, if we can find my perfect match. It's really looking at your lifestyle about the, the type of commitments you have, um, if you have other family members, if you've got other animals to all match up. We do assessments with all of our dogs to give us a really good profile of the sort of personality they have and the sort of home they're looking for. And then it's all about that dog finding the right match. Certainly over the last 10 years particularly is the increase in what we call status dogs. So they're dogs like bull breeds that look the part, uh, that are taken on by younger people who want to look the part as well. Sadly, they lose interest in the dog, so the dog gang comes in to rescue with a load of strange people, with a load of strange dogs, and we have to work really hard with the socialisations. Once they come here, they are safe. We have a non-destruction policy. We'll never destroy a healthy dog. As long as she's happy, as long as the dog's coping well, physically and mentally in kennels, they stay here till they find their home. And we've had dogs that have been here years. We have cuddle time every afternoon at half, half one till three, uh, where volunteers and staff just do exactly that. They just oh, sit really? in the kennels and cuddle the dogs, yeah. Sign me up, that's what I need. <laughs> Across the UK there are puppy farms where people are just farming out pups after pups to go to homes and making a lot of money and not necessarily concerned about the dog's welfare. They could be in really poor conditions. These guys have actually come over from Eastern Europe they have smuggle them in in the back of cars so these poor dogs could have been sat in the boot of a car for hours on end. And the internet is, is a big challenge for, for rescue dogs, for, for rescue organisations looking yeah. after dogs as well now because it's so accessible to get pups and to almost mail order the pup that you want. You could come here and just adopt one of these. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> adopt one of these wonderful <laughs> dogs with all the support that we can offer as well. And this is Morris, he's about six, he's a greyhound, an ex-racing dog. As you can see, a gorgeous temperament, nothing wrong with him at all. He just got a bit too old for his racing days and so they dropped him off here. He's just waiting for a new home. Please adopt, don't shop. Why should you adopt a dog? Yeah. Because by adopting a dog, you're not just saving that dog, but you're ultimately finding an amazing companion that will be your companion for the rest of their life.